As most of you know, I'm in law school now, and I got into a disagreement with a classmate. My classmate said something to the effect of, if someone chooses to engage in an activity where one can become pregnant, one needs to deal with the consequences. Now, I'm all for personal responsibility, but there is a difference between telling someone that they're forced to deal with the consequences and giving people choices about how to proceed after they do certain things. Children should not be punishment for sex. I can't say that enough, but you should never use children as punishment for sex because children should be loved. Children should be taken care of and wanted and children shouldn't be used as a punishment. It's, it's illogical. It doesn't make sense. If you want that child to be happy, children shouldn't be punishment. And my classmate said in response, well, at least you and I agree on everything that's political. And now I'm usually a very civil person, but I looked my classmate dead in the eyes and I said, excuse you, but this is political. And that's kind of why I'm making this video today. People, a lot of the times like to say problematic things and then fall back on the fact that, oh, it's not political. Sexism is political. Sexism is part of a greater scheme in life that is institutionalized by our government, that is institutionalized by the way our school systems work, that functions against woman identified people. That is political. The institutions in our country that perpetrate sexism, that is political. So homophobic, racist, transphobic, sexist, ableist things, all those statements that people make about that stuff, those are political statements because the movements to empower those groups are political movements. The LGBTQ rights movement, it would be a mockery to say that that was not political by its very nature. Trying to destigmatize LGBTQ identities, take them out of mental health books saying they're disorders, and then to earn legal rights, that is very political. The argument around choice and around pro-life or pro-choice, that is very political. And it has a huge impact on our political system here in America. So saying something sexist, than saying, but we agree on politics inherently, if you're sexist, we don't.